Hello friends, welcome to Database Academy. So Oracle recently launched a new database version that is 23C and currently it's available for developer only. It's not yet available for productions. So what new features that 23C have, we'll see in this video. So these are the top 10 Oracle feature of 23C that we will see one by one with example so the very first feature is boolean data type in sql so 23c onwards oracle now support a boolean data type so we can keep a boolean data type in a column so now these boolean data type are accepted and we can use in 23c database Let's understand. So this is my 23C database. I'll execute this one. So this is 23C version and this tab is for 21C express addition. So here I'm going to create a new table, table boolean test. In that I have two columns val and flag so in val i have keep a data type varchar 2 and 10 size and for flag i'm keeping a data type boolean so let's create the table table created with boolean data type okay the same thing we'll try in 21c database and we'll see whether it is working or not So here we are getting a error like invalid data type. All the Oracle previous version before 23C, the Boolean data type will not accept. So that's why it is it is raising a error called invalid data type. So 23C onwards, it's allowing Boolean data type. Let's insert some data into this. So records got inserted here. Now we'll see. So here I'm what I'm executing select a star from the table where flag is true. We don't need to mention is true. By default it will take as in true only. So it will display all the records which are true. So here in this insert a statement you will notice that here true false this is null and again this is single quote t so this will also treat it as in true only yes yes also treat will as in true only this true also it is treated as true only but f and zero and false these all will be considered as in false so if i execute so it is executing see all the all the boolean data type where it is false so false we have inserted even f also treated as in false only and zero zero also tr will treat as in false only so in case of one it will treat as in true so let's insert one more record with with one value and we'll see one here and one here and we'll execute this one row got inserted we'll execute this one and we'll see there is one row inserted and that is treated as in true so z zero will treat as in false one will be treat as in true f will be treat as in false so these are the value that we have inserted and we can see that boolean data type is working with 23c and in 21c database we are getting a invalid data type so this is the first first feature of 23c database
picture of Oracle 23C is select a statement without dual table. So 23C onwards, dual table is not mandatory, it's an optional. So in previous version, if I execute like select C state without using from dual table, it will throw error from keyword not found where expected. So in the all the previous version, dual table was mandatory. But here 23C onwards, if we execute without dual table also, it will work. So we can get the all the output without uh, without using dual table. So if I execute this as well, it will display me the output without dual table. So 23 onwards, dual table is not mandatory, it's an optional. So even though if I wrote like a dual, it will show me the output. So now the dual table is optional in 23C database. So the next feature is drop create if exist or not exist. When we create a new object, we always do a checking like if the object is already exist, then we don't need to create. If that uh, object is not exist, then only we are creating. So that if else condition we always add in the script. So how we can do that? Let's understand. So here in 23C, that table, this table is already exist. We have already seen that. Let's execute one more time. So this table is already exist in 23C database. Now to drop a table in earlier in the previous version, what we used, we were checking that if the table is exist, then drop table else do nothing. Here onwards, we need to just add a keyword if exist. So automatically it will check this table is already exist or not. So if this table is exist, it will drop. If it is not exist, it will do nothing. We don't need to add additional check condition to drop a table. So if I execute, the table is dropped. So if I execute the select statement, table or view does not exist. So now the table is not exist. Even though if I execute this statement, it will not throw any error. But in all the previous version of Oracle, it was not, this feature was not there. If I execute this, it will throw error. So this is the new feature which is added in the 20th. Now same thing, it can work with create as well. So now here I'm going to create a table. So in that also added a, added a keyword, if not exist. So if the table is not cre not created, it will create. If there is a table already exist, it will simply not do anything. So let's execute this. So table is created. If I run this again, no issue. There is no error, it will throw that table already exist. Okay, let's understand the next feature that is group by on expression alias. So now in 23C, we can use a group by group by on a alias also. Let's understand. So this is my query, select department ID and sum of salary from the employee table. In group by, instead of adding the department ID, I'm using a DID alias and having DID greater than 100. So if I execute this, it will throw me error because I'm using here DID is a alias of a department ID. Same query I'm executing in 23C database. So DID is the alias. Okay, even though I'm using group by as an DID alias, then also it is working and displaying me the output. So 23C onwards, we can use an alias of a column in the group by. Let's understand the next feature. 
so the next feature is group by on expression position number so like we see here that uh, alias we can use in the group by in in this case we can use a position number as well so for that what we need to do uh, we need to alter this session we need to set this group by position enable equal to true so once we set this it will allow to use a number position also of a uh, column so if here instead of did i am putting a one so if this it is still showing the output if i use the same thing in the previous version i'll get a error because one cannot be used here we must define a department id then only it will work so that's the new feature that 23c has provided so we can use a alias of the column or we can put a position of a column as well but we need to set this group by position enable equal to true this must be true only then only this feature will work let's understand the next feature that is update table with joining another table so in the previous version of oracle we can update the table with a single table only we cannot uh, join condition to update first table so here i am this is my employee table and this is my department table and i am going to update a employee table and setting the commission percentage 0.1 based on department and the manager id is equal to 103 so it will update the commission percentage to 0.1 all the employees where manager id equal to 103 so if if i execute this so five rows got updated so here i am updating employee based on department so there are two tables joining here in the update statement if in the previous version of oracle it was not possible it was if i execute this it will throw error the sql command not properly indeed so the, in the previous version this was not possible it will always throw an error but in 23c now we can update a table with another joining a another table let's see the next feature multiple insert recorded at once so now we can insert a multiple record at once so table is created now if i this is my insert statement inserting data into tab boolean test where i have only two columns values and flag so here i am inserting multiple rows using a single insert statement so four rows got inserted if i execute this let's execute and we'll see uh, the table records are inserted let's see the records are available or not four rows are available and displayed here same thing we'll try in the previous version so let's create a table here i'm choosing a varchar 10 instead of boolean because it, because boolean will not accept here so let's create the table table got created and i'll try to insert multiple rows using this statement so it is throwing error like sql command not properly ended so in the all the previous version this command will not work it will not insert multiple rows in a single insert statement so that's the new change that 23c has provided let's see the next feature so the max columns per table so from 23c onwards we can create a 4096 columns for a single table so that's the extension of the number of columns in a table so that feature has added in the 23c so the next feature is 
asynchronous transaction let's understand with example so here i i am creating a table table sync and in that i am creating a two columns id number and val here in val i am adding a keyword reservable that is the new feature of 23c so i am creating a table here let's insert some records in this table so four rows got updated inserted now if i execute this i'll get all records from the table let's commit this transaction now the current value for a for id number 1 is 18.2 so i'm just adding updating a val to plus 10 so ideally it will after update 28.2 it should be so one row got updated now if i execute this statement it will show me the still 18.2 which was the initial value so why because we have added reservable so unless we don't commit the transactions we will get a initial value only it will not show the updated one in the all previous version at least for the current session it was it will show me the updated value here after using this reservable that unless we don't commit the transaction it will not show the updated value in the same session also let's see with the other session so here also it is showing that 18.2 now if i commit this transactions then only i will be able to see the updated value that is 28.2 here and if i check here here also 28.2 so this is because of this reservable keyword there is a another feature like if we have define a reservable column then we cannot drop a table itself if we try to drop this table we'll get a error so we cannot drop a table that having a column with reservable keyword so to to drop a table we need to modify the column to not reservable so let's modify this column table modified now if i drop the table it will drop without any error so this is the new feature that oracle has introduced let's see the next feature so the next feature that they have improved the error message so in the previous version if i execute this in group by sections i should have department id and manager id but i am just mentioning department id here only so it is not showing me the column name which column is missing here in the group by sections it it's just showing that not a group by expression if i execute same query in 23c here it is mentioning that manager id must appear in the group by section so that is the new enhancement in the error message that it will show us the column name as well what column we are missing in the group by section so that is the new improvement in the error message so that's the end of this session if you learn something new in this video please subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching this video